Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. I write under a blog called Virtual Desktop, but I really use the phrase as a metaphor to suggest I'm sharing news coming from my own desktop. But today, for the very first time, I'm going to share with you a real virtual desktop. Well, okay, that's a bit of a contradiction in itself. What I mean is I'm logging into a remote desktop hosted and powered by NVIDIA Grit from my own personal computer. It requires a thin client, free to download and install for the GRID beta testers. Once installed, I can log into my virtual desktop like I would with an online banking system or a social network. Here is the desktop of my virtual machine, now accessible like a portal through my own personal computer. The programs and files available are set up in a familiar Windows OS. No special software to learn to navigate them. So let me first go ahead and try SolidWorks eDrawings. It takes a few seconds to load, but no more than what it would take on a normal personal computer. Once active, it functions just like it would on my own machine, even though I'm doing everything through a home DSL connection to a NVIDIA Grid server somewhere else. Now let's try doing the same with AutoCAD preloaded with a 3D architectural model. Usually with an underpowered local machine, you'd see stutterings or delay between your mouse command and the model's response. The bigger the model, the more likely that'll be the case. I don't know anything about the hardware setup on the other end here, besides the fact that it's driven by a scalable GPU accelerated server. So far, the zoom, the pan, the rotating, everything about this experience is quite good, and the burden of the computing is on the remote server, not on my personal machine, so I can still run powerful software, perhaps an engineering software, on my own personal machine that remains idle. There is, however, some noticeable frame rate decrease, along with some stuttering when I tried a graphics-intense movie, like this one or NVIDIA's own promotional clip featuring the fairy Dawn. With interactive applications like Google Earth, or like this one, a digital human hat with expressions that you can interact with, NVIDIA calls it IRA. They all work quite well on the grid, as you can see. What this test and this proof of concept suggest is a new way of working. Since the computing task is taking place on a remote server, I could, in effect, be logging into my virtual machine from a lightweight machine, a personal computer bought at Best Buy, or even a tablet. In the near future, I expect there'll be vendors who offer not only powerful software, but also the remote desktop that you would need to run it, both delivered on demand through the cloud. This is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering, reporting from somewhere in the NVIDIA grid.